Good afternoon. This is Pastor Carl from St. Peter's United Methodist Church with your weekly update for Friday, November the 12th, 2021. I hope you were able to join us last Sunday for our homecoming. It was a wonderful time of worship, a wonderful time of fellowship. It was great to uh, be together as a family and to celebrate what God has done over the years through this church and what he continues to do and to look forward to what he's going to continue doing through this church in the future. The spirit was all over the place here last Sunday. And if, if you missed it, well, I hope you'll come out this Sunday because the Spirit's gonna be here this Sunday too. The Spirit is here whenever God's people gather. And we're going to be gathering for a worship service at 8.30. We are also going to have a worship service at 11. So whichever one works better for you, come on out and worship with us. We've got Sunday school at 9.45. And if you're not currently in Sunday school, uh, it's a great place to learn, to share with one another. And we do have a place for you here in a Sunday school class. So. I want to remind you as well, we have a special event coming up on Saturday, December the 4th at 3 p.m. We're having a special concert here at the church. It's Christmas concert given by Eric Horner. And if you were here for the last Eric Horner concert, you remember what a blessing it was. This man has taken this gift of music that God has given him, and he's done wonderful things with this gift. And he brings glory to God and he brings the, he, he welcomes the spirit into the room. And I know this is going to be a special, special afternoon. So I hope that you'll make plans, mark it on your calendar now, December the 4th at 3 p.m. Eric Horner here at St. Peter's for a special Christmas concert. And there is no charge to attend. We will take up a love offering. So come invite your friends to come invite your family. It's going to be a great afternoon. I share a brief scripture reading with you today. This comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, beginning with verse 7. Isaiah writes, I will tell of the kindnesses of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for the house of Israel, according to his compassion and many kindnesses. Isaiah was well aware of all the good things that God does. And he could not keep quiet about it. Isaiah's attitude was, I look at all that God has done for me. I have to talk about it. I have to tell people of his kindnesses, of his mercy, of his love, of his grace. I pray that that's the attitude that is growing within each of us as followers of Christ. Look at what God has done. He has created a family here for us at St. Peter's, a family that is bound together with a love that is greater than anything we could ever imagine. God has forgiven us our sins through Christ. God has given us new life through Christ. This is worth celebrating. This is worth telling the world about. Now, I know we all go out and we love to talk about what's going in our lives. We love to tell people stories about what we've done and what we plan to do. But I hope that we can get just as excited about telling people what God has done, what God is doing in our lives, and what we look forward to God doing through us. I hope to see you Sunday morning. And remember, until then, I am praying for you.